Hi, Nadim here from Smart Writing Gadgets. Today, I'm doing this video talking about navigation using the W702 or W502 units for navigation. Now, I'm using CarPlay, so I'm gonna be talking about that specifically and the apps that are available. Now, there are three main maps that I tend to use. First is Waze, which I use for day-to-day -day stuff. And then there is Google Maps, and then there is Apple Maps. Now, they all work much the same. Uh, Waze is preferable for me just on like normal roads and stuff because it has user reported stuff like speed traps and police up ahead or there's an accident or an obstruction. And a lot of people just click and report it constantly. And that's pretty good because it will stop you getting a speeding ticket and it'll also alert you to any dangers on the road ahead. So that's the one I use the most. Now, Waze does not allow you to download maps and use offline, but what it does do is it caches the route that you've put in. So if you're using Waze, even if you don't really need directions to anywhere, you're best to put it in if you're worried about losing connection. So that will keep guiding you as and when, you know, when signal returns will go back on again, but it has it cached in the memory, so it will still guide you. Now, Apple Maps and Google Maps allow you to download specific areas, specific maps into your phone, which are then available on CarPlay on the apps when you're using them. So I'm just gonna go through the setup of how to do those first. Okay, so, so the first set of maps I'm gonna look at is Google Maps. Now this will appear just here to the right of me on the screen. So we're gonna open up Google Maps then I'm gonna click on my profile. Then there's an offline maps, click there. And it should bring up your local area and then you can zoom in and out of that first of all. Now that's the main map that I wanna download onto this. So that's what I'm gonna do. So there you go, so I'm now downloading this. So this will continue downloading it. In the meantime, I'm gonna rename the map so I know what it is. I'm just calling it around home. So it's about 50 square miles around my home. So that will continue to download it. Now once it's downloaded this, it's kinda of done. That's it, it's, it's there and it will remain there for you. And you can pick other areas and download them into the maps as well. Bear in mind it's gonna take up space on the drive and your phone. But I mean, that shouldn't be too much of an issue if, if you really want this. And that's it done. So there you go. It's downloaded that map onto Google Maps. So it's all there now. Okay, so next is Apple Maps. Now Apple Maps makes it slightly easier to choose from the, the display on the map, certain areas that you want. So it's preferable to use, I think, for that reason alone, if you've got CarPlay and you've got an Apple phone. So we open up. Apple Maps, then we just click on your profile picture and it will bring up the, the menu and you just click offline maps. Now it gives you a choice, you can put current location in or city or whatever. So I've just done current location. Now I'm just zooming it, zooming it out so I can choose a bigger area. Right, so that's that. So it's now downloading it. It's 4.74 gigabytes, the area that I've chosen. So this will just download it and it, I think you can allow it to update when, when, whenever new maps are available. And this way you have these maps on to your actual phone, which then transfers to your CarPlay. So you'll always have maps for that specific areas. I mean, I don't think you can download the whole world as such, but you can choose, you know, if you're traveling, you can choose whichever countries you're going in and set the maps up separately that way. As I said, it's not as much of an issue as people seem to think it is, because before they get the unit, people worry about it and think, well, what if I don't have any signal or, you know, what if I don't have any data or whatever? It tends not to be a major problem. As I said, even if you're using Waze, if you put the route in, to where you're going, it will cache that route so that if it does lose signal anywhere along the way, it will automatically uh, just keep routing you anyway. So it's not gonna be a problem for you. So 
yeah, it's as easy as that to get the routes onto your phone and then onto CarPlay. So as I said, um, for everyday use, I still use Waze and I have the backups on both Google Maps and Apple Maps. So if I did lose signal for any reason, I could use it. I mean, the only other circumstance I can see is if you don't have any data left on your phone or something, or you don't have a package that allows you to use data in other countries. Um, I mean, if you're from Europe and you're going to the US, then maybe that would be an issue and you could do it for there wherever you're going, you know, because data is going to be expensive or vice versa. You come from the US to Europe and your data is going to be, I don't know, you know, a dollar, a gigabyte or something. Uh, you can do that. But in general, for 99% of what you do, it's not going to be an issue. But if you are worried about it, this is the solution. It's quite easy. Now in CarPlay, you've also got Calimoto and other similar apps that are designed for bikers to use. So they're available to you as well if you want to download and use them. So basically that's it. It's as simple as that. Just download the maps to your phone. CarPlay will automatically use those maps that are on your device. So you shouldn't have an issue. So if that's worrying you, stop worrying about it. And if that's one of the things that's stopping you buying the unit, then go ahead and buy it. Um, we have a 30% discount code in the description if you're looking to buy a car per head unit. Uh, it's just a voucher code, so there's, it's just smart riding, all one word. If you enter that at checkout at carperhead.com, it'll give you 30% off. Thanks.